To TV International, we're talking now about Evin Prison. Evin Prison is a um, very notorious prison in Tehran, Iran. And for the last six months or so, there have been actually nightly gatherings of hundreds of people sometimes for um, in front of the prison. And Faribos, tell us, why, what are the people doing that night? Uh, I mean, since the uh, June protest, the um, Islamic regime uh, has started to round up a lot of people without and informing anybody. There were thousands upon thousands of people were arrested. Before any incidents, for example, before uh, uh, December the 6th, you know, a thousand, which people are talking about seven or eight thousand people in different parts of Iran been arrested. Um, so the prisons are full. And people do not know, you know, parents of these young people mostly do not know uh, uh, where their children are. So they've started to start gathering around Evin prison because that's the main uh, prison in Iran, in, in Tehran. There are, of course, many other prisons, uh, but this is where it be became the focus of protest. And mothers and family members of the, you know, the uh, lost young people, effectively disappeared young people, started to gather in front of Evin Prison, and uh, they're demanding to, you know, for the children to be released, and they're not going to go away. And every night is 500, 600, sometimes over a thousand people. And when and some and ev every night the regime is uh, um, is forced to actually uh, um, release a few people. So there is momentum being built and pressure has been put on a, on, on the um, on the Iranian government. So that that's very important and it's become the focus of the mothers of disappeared uh, in Iran. And we know uh, that. Uh, 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 that is, is ga gaining international support uh, as well. In Argentina, the mothers of the uh, disappeared, the, uh, the Mooni mothers from Argentina, already expressed solidarity with, uh, uh, with uh, Mooni uh, mothers in, in Iran, is gaining international support and the mothers need to be supported. And the campaign to free the political prisoners in Iran need to support it. And focus of all this campaign, it's uh, uh, in front of Evin prison, Every night, and I think uh, on the 6th of December, for example, when the, the demonstrations um, uh, took place in Iran, you know, three or four thousand started marching towards the prison because people were. One of the aims of the uh, protest movement in Iran to break the doors of this torture uh, chamber, uh, Evin Prison, which we can talk about its history, uh, uh, and breaking and open and re uh, uh, you know release the prisoners, and the political prisoners in Iran are. Are a significant, you know, uh, numbers, the huge numbers, and and one of the demands of the protest movement in Iran is unconditional freedom of the political prisoners. I mean, we must stress that in in Iran, actually, they do not have a fair legal system. That people um, just today we heard that another um, person, another man who had been at the protest, has been given the death sentence for actually partaking in peaceful protest in December on the Ashura day. And he had no access to a lawyer. Um, there are, of course, uh, if you can call it a trial, there are closed trials. The family most of the time don't know what happened to their loved ones, if they have been taken on the streets, if they have been arrested anywhere. There is no proper process, formal process to follow up. Um, it's quite unjust. Yeah, the absolutely. justice system doesn't actually start to, uh, it's no word for it. So when we look at this, so that means people go there in the hope maybe that, they are, that their children are yeah. there. And also uh, it's become a focus of protest. So there's a nightly protest in front of Evin prison and, and, and people go there and anybody whose children do not come home or no, they, they might think they've been arrested or they hear that they've been arrested, they go in front of Evin prison. And that's the focus and, and, and they're putting pressure on the government and they need to be supported. So tell us about um, a bit, why, why is Evin so notorious? Well, I think Evin Prison was built um, in 1979. It was built by the Shah's government uh, um, in, in 1979. Uh, with a view, we could see the aerial uh, photograph. Of, and originally it was built to hold 300 prisoners with you know, 20 solitary, solitary, solitary confinement. It was designed for, you know, it was divided by Sabak, the secret police um, of um, of the Shah's government. It had torture quarters. It's horrible to talk about these things. And uh, it had ex execution yards. But since the Islamic regime came to power, you could see the picture of the famous uh, uh, execution of Evin uh, 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 prison. 
um, and and since they've come in, they've expanded the prison. He holds, it's estimated that he holds about 15,000 people, and he has different sections. And following the recent uh, uh, protests in Iran, and he's become uh, one of the main prisons that uh, they, uh, they torture people. You can see that people have been arrested, will be transferred to Evin for integration, for torture. For, for, for months, people could be tortured. Um, we have seen uh, um, sort of evidence of horrible torture and dead bodies have been brought out and, and th there are pictures that actually uh, we can't show many, we, we might see some of them, some of them actually we decided not to show them because they're uh, disturbing uh, um, and it's become the focus of um, attention um, of its people refer it to Bastille of Iran, I think Bastille is com compared to Evin is nothing um, so it has different sections and there's overcrowding uh, you know, for rooms of that could accommodate five or six, seven people, hundreds of people have the, you know, been put in uh, and sometimes and people have to stand up and sleep and there's no rest, there's no toilet and it's, it's just a horrible place to be and, and the torch and the whole system of uh, Islamic regime based on repression is manifests itself in Evan prison and one of the, uh, you could see pictures of actually people protesting in front of that and I guess until a few years ago, they wouldn't have dared to go in front of Irving Prison. But now, because of the confidence that people have uh, gained by the protest movement, it's one of the demands is to free political prisoners. And there are campaigns, actually, um, internationally for the, uh, um, uh, f for the prisoners to be freed. Uh, and we could actually uh, show the details, if possible, on, on the screen, if, if possible, to actually there are campaigns international campaign to in defense of political prisoners in Iran and and, and um, for them to be freed and that's very important political prisoners are key uh, sort of issue in, in Iranian politics and we want all the political prisoners in Iran to be f uh, to be freed unconditionally uh, and and they need um, and it's important that it is kept in, in the news and and we know that uh, every night these protests, and we need to make sure that we, we reflect these in um, in in our prote uh, in our TV program, and that's what we do at the moment. And what can people do um, outside of Iran? How can they support this? I mean, I think a big change has already happened. Like you said, before a year, two years ago, people wouldn't think about maybe uh, going and demonstrating in front of even prison because we had the. Um, the case of the foreign journalist, she wasn't foreign, she was half Iranian, but she had Canadian um, citizenship. And she, um, she went to Evin Prison to photograph actually something that happened outside Evin Prison. And she was taken into Evin Prison and she was um, raped, tortured and killed. That's that cause of me, yes. The yes. Canadian... Um, so now people are actually very courageously standing in front of Evin Prison every night. So things have changed a bit. But what can people on outside I mean, do? Uh, uh, there are various things. Depends on what uh, individuals can join the Iran Solidarity Campaign. It's one of the demands of the Iran Solidarity Campaign is freedom of political prison in, in Iran. In, there are in different parts. In, in Canada, there's Iran Solidarity Campaign. If you just type in Google Iran Solidarity, you'll, you'll have that. It's the campaign in Canada. There's in London every day. There's protests in Trafalgar Square. In, in Germany, there are a campaign. In Sweden, there is campaign. In Australia, so you, people can join Iran Solidarity. That's one thing they could do. Also, we could, uh, you know, they, they can uh, write to the uh, uh, respective government and ask for the uh, break of diplomatic relation with the Islamic regime of Iran. These guys should be put on trial. And there is a campaign to, uh, to record and document the, uh, the, um, uh, the, um, the crimes of uh, uh, Islamic regime against uh, political prisoners in Iran. I understand that our time is, uh, um, is up for this section. Uh, we'll have a, a short break and we'll be back to uh, talk about Jamal Sabri, uh, who has been detained in, um, in Japan.